ku wela ni tu ni We're glad you could join us today for this classic SEC rivalry. I tell you what, there's little in the way of camaraderie between these two schools. What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment here. We are back today with another episode of NCAA 14. We're back here on the Tennessee Vols Dynasty. And you guys already know what it is. It's Gator Week. This is part two of uh, pretty much this episode five. So... Basically, last episode we had the recruiting going on, and now it is time to tank on, uh, take on number 24 ranked Florida. And they started off with a pass play down the sideline. They're finding Tyree Cleveland for a big 24 yard game. Felipe Franks able to get them going early. And Franks is going to run the read option. He's got a first down, and he's got a lot more. Cutting inside down to 30, inside the 30. It's going to get around the 26-yard line, and Florida is on the move with their opening possession. Another read option. We had a guy get pancake. Felipe Franks is all the way down inside the 5 to the 4 with a big gain of 22 yards. I try so hard. And Felipe Franks will walk in untouched for the touchdown. We have Batuli there. Just couldn't make the The Tigers were ranked number two. After that performance, how far will they fall? How about this final? Totally unexpected. A major upset is now finished. The Wolfpack get the victory, 28-21. In another game, the Knights came into the game ranked 16th and hoping to make a huge jump in the rankings. Now the question is, how far will they fall? And Damn, both Clemson and UCF, two teams that are undefeated in real life, both fall. Back to pass is Jared Garantano. He's looking to see if he can answer that touchdown score by the, by the Gators. He hits Dominic Wood Anderson for a first down, and he's going underneath to Blakely. Blakely's going to wind up getting the first down as well, and we're starting to move these sticks, trying to get see if we can get something going. Got to hand off Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler following his blockers. Chandler has the first down, and that'll be another first down. Three plays and three first downs. We'll gladly take it. Back to pass, Garantano looking downfield, surveying the middle. He's going to find Jawan Jennings, his number one wide receiver. That's a 16-yard pickup, and we're looking to put this ball in the end zone. First and 10, back to pass, Garantano. Pressure coming. Fire to the end zone, almost intercepted. And that is not the throw we wanted to make. Looked like double, triple coverage, and Garantano got away with one. Garantano looking on the run. Might take off, finds a man, and it is almost picked off again. Back-to-back -back plays almost in an interception, and we're going to have to settle for the field goal. And here comes Florida's offense again. Back to pass. He finds his man underneath. He's got Lewis. Lewis breaks away from him. Tackle, and down he goes. Buchanan saves a touchdown. Totally Lewis, 36-yard gain. And here comes Florida once again. Felipe Franks, play action. Back to pass, takes his underneath route. Van Jefferson, the Ravenwood product, winds up picking up a first down. That's a 13-yard pickup. And here come the Gators one more time. Back to pass, finds a man, got him in the end zone. Touchdown is Tyree Cleveland, a 17-yard touchdown pass. And right now, Felipe Franks is just he's killing us. He is killing us in this game with his legs and his arm. Come on, defense, we got to tighten up a little bit. Garantano back to pass. He's going to find his man is Dominic Wood Anderson, the tight end. That's a first down. We're going to move the sticks as we got a minute left here in the first quarter. Let's see if we can get something going. Back to pass. Pressure coming. Finds his man is Jawan Jennings. Jawan Jennings pushed out of bounds at the 35. And that's going to be a big pickup of 28. Let's see if we can keep it rolling, boys. Come on. We got to get in the end zone. No more settling for field goals. Garantano, shotgun. Back to pass. Looking downfield. And he is going down. The right tackle got beat, and they winded up getting Garantano down to the ground for a big sack. It's going to set up fourth and 20, and we once again have to kick another field goal. And right now, Florida has all the momentum, and they have an opportunity as they hit Tyree Cleveland again to really open up this game if we can't get a stop. Felipe Franks taking the read option again. Franks picks up another first down Buchanan. With the tackle, saves another big run. Well, it's already big, but not before we get the interception. It's Schamberger. He's going to take this one all the way back to the 50, the 40, and he is 
breaks a tackle. He is finally brought down at the 32-31 yard line. That's a first down for the Vols. Let's go offense. We need something here, Garantano. Get it right. Let's get in. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention it <laughs> at the beginning of the broadcast. Well, the beginning of the video, not broadcast. But, yeah, we are, we do got the Smokey Grays on. I know, and we're getting sacked again. My goodness. I know Jeremy Pruitt no longer wants to wear these, but we had to pull it out for Gator Week. Let's get it. Garantano back to pass after being sacked. Third and 13 is going to find his man, Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd just gets enough for that first down, and we're moving the sticks. Garantano back to pass, looking downfield, going to the end zone. has got his man, and it is Jawan Jennings. Wide open in the left corner of the end zone. And we are right back in this game. And we're only down two now. A big pick by Schamberger. And they are going to review this. I'm not even sure why. We only need one foot down in college. And you can clearly tell he's got one foot down. He doesn't look so bad. Crowd's too loud, you couldn't even hear the ref, but it does stand. We're going for two here. Try to tie this game up. Not sure if we need to or not. Garantano's going to keep it, and Garantano is going to get in there for the two-point conversion. We are tied up 14-14 with two minutes, 26 seconds to go in before halftime. Let's get it. Defense came up big. Let's see if they can keep it up, keep uh, Florida off the board. Back to pass. Felipe Franks finds his man. He's got Hammond. Hammond breaks away, and it's another big first down right there for Florida defense. We gotta get better, man. Come on. Screen pass. They're gonna hit Scarlett. Scarlett's gonna want to throw in Nigel Warrior, and that is another first down for Florida. They call timeout. It's 57 seconds left. Defense. We gotta keep them up the end zone. Back to pass. So Buchanan drops a big pick. We would have at least kept him off the board there. Not sure what we would have got after it, but we're going to get a sack here. Let's get it. Shy Tuttle busting up in there, making the play. Third and 18, looking to get off the field here. They're going to hit their man, Tyree Cleveland, under the knee in the middle, and he's going to get the first down. You got to be kidding me. At the pass is Franks. Franks, and Franks going to find Jordan Scarlett for the touchdown. And we are now down 20 to 14, under 40 seconds to go. And this is not good, man. My goodness, defense. We had the pick. Buchanan had it, and he just couldn't hang on to it. Anyway, we got Tyrell Williams back to return. Williams to the outside. He's at the 40. He's at almost the 43, 44-yard line. So 32 seconds. We might have an opportunity to get some points here. Let's see what we can do. Garantano, shotgun, back to pass. Looking downfield, he's going to take the underneath route. He's got Tyree, I mean, not Tyree, Ty Chandler. That's going to be a first down. We're going to see if we can keep moving. Hitting his man is Marquez Calloway. That's the first time we've called his name today. We're moving it along. Third and one, 10 seconds left. Looking to see if we can get something going. Marquez Calloway again. That's going to be a first down. And we got six seconds left. Let's see what we can do. Six seconds, back to pass. Garantano floats one up. Dominic Wood Anderson comes down with it. That is a touchdown for the Vols. And it is going to be huge with three seconds remaining. What a grab by Dominic Wood Anderson. And we are going to go into halftime tied up. What a grab. My goodness, and he got in. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Well, we say it here all the time. It's not always about the X's and the O's. It can be about the Jimmy's and, and the, the Joe's. Joe's. But I think Jimmy and Joe appear to be pretty evenly matched here. And this might not necessarily be about who has the better athlete, who has the more explosive player. This might come down to which guy maneuvering those X's and O's does so the most wisely. Well, who's telling Jimmy and Joe where to line up? <laughs> they got to they know where they're <laughs> supposed to go. So I think it is important. And the coaches 
sometimes you got to break character. You know, sometimes you know you're a predominantly run team, and that's what you do, and you're going to line up and pound it. But sometimes you face a good defense that's playing really well that they're not going to allow you to do that. And sometimes you got to get a little bit out of character. And I think which offense or which defense can take a few chances and get rewarded for those chances, come up on the plus side of it, create a big turnover, set your offense up on the right side of the field. How about you dial up one of those trick plays you got in your bag that you haven't used in a while that you think might could, might could work and might could maybe bust open this game and give you a little bit of separation? I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, that 13 yards rushing is just pathetic. We got to be better than that. Anyway, back to pass second and 11, and we are getting intercepted. It looks like that's their linebacker. Puts his hands right up and not the way we wanted to start the second half. Garantano is picked off, and Florida has great field position, and we've really not been able to stop Florida that much. And we got the one pick by Schamberger, and then it's been that. All right, defense, we need you guys to step up third and two. Felipe Franks is going to do the read option once again, and then it's a touchdown for the Florida Gators, and they are doing the Gator Chop in our stadium. That is unacceptable. Defense, we got to get right. Third and four, Garantano back to pass. Let me see if he can get something going and breaking on the route. Is the cornerback Steiner or Stenner? He's going to take this one inside the red zone, inside the 15. It's back-to-back -back drives. With an interception, Donovan Stenner, Steiner gets the pick, and Garantano with two interceptions and two straight drives. That's not, can't have that. First and teams read option, and we got to grab a Felipe Frank's face mask. That's going to be an automatic first down for the Gators. And boy, come on, Jonathan Combo. We can't be having that. First and goal, Van Jefferson in motion. He's actually going to come all the way to the backfield. Felipe Franks taking it and he gets blasted. Trying to run that read out. We're getting sick and tired of that. And they're going to run it one more time. He's going to wind up pitching this one to Davis. And Davis will find the end zone. Malik Davis, a seven yard touchdown run. And it looks like Florida's momentum has come out full swing here in the second half. And we are in trouble. We are in big trouble. Pressure coming. He's going to find his man, Marquez Callaway. Callaway gets the first down. See if Garantano has finally settled down here in the second half. Play action. Back to pass. Looking. He's going to find his man. It's Marquez Callaway again. He's picking up a first down. Callaway coming on. These last few drives. Starting to the end of the second quarter. Back to pass. Going to find our man. It's Dominic Wood Anderson. Wood Anderson breaks away but can't keep his balance. Spins out of bounds. 17-yard pickup. We're moving the sticks. Wood Anderson having a nice game so far. First and 10. Back to pass. Looking. Over the middle. Finding our man. It's Marquez Callaway again. 14-yard pickup. Here we come. The Vols are trying to strike back. Hand off. Ty Chandler. Chandler short of the first down, but gets a great pickup of nine. Here we go. He's got 31 yards on the day. And uh, read option. Jared Garantano. Garantano to the outside. He hits that edge. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Vols. Big time run on the zone read by Jared Garantano. Wanted up just jumping over and getting it. Touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. Well, for one, I really hope it's who has the ball last because the way our defense has been going, man, it, it does not look good. Back to pass. Another wide open, man. It is Tyree Cleveland again. This dude's been open all day long, and he has just been gashing us. Second and 10, Felipe Franks, another zone read. He's going to wind up picking up a first down, and he's going to wind up getting a little bit more than that. He gets a 17-yard pickup. And my goodness, we just can't figure this Florida team out. And they're just running similar plays. It's either going to Tyree Cleveland or he's running the zone read. Come on, defense. Let's get right. Third and four. This could be the last play of the third quarter. It's a draw play to Scarlett. Nowhere to go. Gets blown up in the backfield. Alexis Johnson Jr. stuffs it. And here we go. A long field goal attempt to put Florida up by 10. 
here on fourth and eight to start the fourth quarter. The kicker's going to get the kick on the way, and he is nowhere near on that. Didn't have the distance, and it was nowhere near with the accuracy. Second and four, as we have been given new life to possibly tie this game up. Ty Chandler, first down run, seven-yard pickup. We're at midfield. First and 10, Garantano. Back to pass. Looking, surveying the field. Finds his man. It's Jawan Jennings with a 13-14 yard pickup. Over 250 passing yards is Garantano. And we are on the move. Back to pass. Going deep. Want Jawan Jennings and is almost picked off by C.J. Henderson. As he gets his big hands up there, he just couldn't hang on to it. Third and six. Back to pass. Over the middle. Finding Dominic Ward Anderson, who's had a huge day versus Florida defense. He is eating six catches, 86 yards, and a touchdown. Got to say, he's happy to be playing Florida. Ty Chandler cutting in and out, almost getting into that end zone there. We're getting close. Second and four. Handoffs. Jordan, give us six. And Tim Jordan allows us to tie it. Now we just need our defense to come up big here on third and four. Finding his man, Van Jefferson, is thrown behind him. It's incomplete. And we are going to get the fourth down stop we need. Fourth and four, they're going to punt it away. Tyrell Williams just looking to get a decent return. He's going to get it here about the 15, maybe 16. Tyrell Williams cuts it to the outside. He's going to pick up a block. Williams to the 45. He's in midfield, makes a couple moves. Williams is going to take this one all the way. Touchdown, Volunteers. And we have just completed the comeback and hopefully the defense gets to stop that look on the trailer <laughs> my bad i've been calling him tyrell williams for this entire video Latrell Williams, excuse me, I believe Tyrell Williams is a receiver in the NFL. But my bad, man. Anyway, a big time return. Let's get it. 42-35, under three minutes. Defense, let's get right. Back to pass. First and 10. Finds his man is Lewis. Breaks an attacker. Takes a big hit. And it's going to be a first down for Florida. They're getting close. Back to pass. Finding his man is Van Jefferson. Jefferson breaks away as well. He gets a 14-yard picker. So 30 yards in two plays is not good defense. Handoff, Scarlett, first down, throws off a defender, and he is tackled, but not before he got 12 yards. We're under a minute and a half left in this game. Third down and six. We need two stops right here, defense. Two stops, and we can get up out of here. A minute 15, they're letting a lot of clock drip. It's understandable we haven't really been able to stop them at all anyway. And if they can score, we're going to have a little time to work with. Back to pass. They're running a screenplay to the left. And it's going to get blown up. Nowhere to go on that one. Felipe Franks in that Florida Gator offense just got read like a book by the D-lineman. Fourth and 12. Final play of the game for Florida. They don't get the first. They're going to throw it underneath. And they are not going to get it. The defense is going to hold on. And we're going to complete the comeback. As we're going to wind up winning this one. 42-35. We still got to decide what we're going to do. If we're going to punt it or more likely we're just going to punt this one away and just punt it up out of bounds. But let's get it, man. We complete the comeback versus Florida. That's exactly what you want to do on a night game. And this one's actually going to be fielded. We left it in play. They do have an opportunity. And he's going to fumble the football. It doesn't matter. The other guy who scooped it up stumbled. That's going to put the clock to triple zero. We complete the comeback versus the Gators. Down 14 in the third. We come all the way back after two horrendous picks that were thrown by Garantano on back-to-back -back drive. And, of course, play of the game, Latrell Williams, the game-winning punt return. Could have asked better than that. You guys, I do want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos I'll be making of this series and more. I'm out till next time, everybody. Peace. Go Vols. Let's get it. We beat four.